Hello, it's Jane. Today on my feed, there's this story that's titled, Woman told she's being a deadbeat parent to a child that she was a surrogate for. Spoiler alert, this woman had uh, a baby for two homosexual males who were married to each other and their marriage dissolved and now suddenly they want the one that's got the child uh, wants her to be involved. I just want to make that clear because as I'm reading this article, you know, it says that she was a surrogate, but it wasn't very clear at the outset that this was two males who were married to each other. So, let's get into it. A woman revealed that she was shamed for not wanting to take care of a child that isn't biologically hers. So, assuming she just carried it and, you know, the egg came from somewhere else and the sperm came from one of the dude bros. Posting to the subreddit, Am I the A-Hole? A forum where users try to figure out if they were wrong or not in an argument, she pondered if she was being a jerk for refusing to be a stand-in mother for her friend despite not being the child's biological mother. She was accused of being a quote-unquote deadbeat parent to a child that she was a surrogate for. She explained that when she was younger, she had been surrogate for two of her friends. This is the, the homosexual married males. For two of her friends who were unable to have children on their own. No. This is male media. Two males, they're, why are we speaking of them as if they are an infertile couple? Or as if one of them is infertile. They were unable to have children on their own because they couldn't have a baby with their dick. Why are we framing it this way? Oh, these two homosexual males, they can't procreate on their own. They can't procreate, period. <laughs> because they're not women. But okay. While she had no issue offering to help her friends have a baby... Her relationship with the baby is now becoming more than she bargained for. In her Reddit post, she explained that a couple of years after welcoming a baby for her friends, their marriage ended up falling apart. Her friend Sam ended up leaving the family and his daughter Abby behind. So, these are two males and she, this, this woman, birthed a, a child for them that was a daughter there is no scenario in which a male should be raising a daughter alone, period, honestly. And I say that as a woman who was raised by a single father. Uh, but really, there's no scenario in which uh, two males need to have a little girl that is legally their child. This is insanity. Nature made it so that males can't have babies for a reason. So, the two males have split up. One male takes off and the other male is unable to take off because he's now stuck with the daughter that he paid a woman to have. Or, I don't know if he paid her or not. Maybe she just did it for free because, you know, we do so much for men for free. That left Abby with her other father, and I am still near. He has been calling all the time to come and hang out with Abby, she revealed. Since Abby's parent left, the first dude, the woman who had been a surrogate for the little girl is now being asked to become a stand-in parent, despite her role in Abby's life being over once she was no longer a surrogate. I've been pulling back from him since it has gotten too much. He called and asked me to pick her up from daycare, she continued. When she refused, Abby's father accused her of being a deadbeat parent, which only made her laugh considering that she didn't sign up to be a parent at all when she agreed to be their surrogate. You literally cannot do anything for a male. It's always an inch in a mile scenario. Every time. And the truth is, it sounds like this guy... D doesn't want to be a parent. He wanted to have, you know, this little family unit 
And now that it's falling apart, he doesn't want the daughter anymore because, let's face it, the daughter was a prop. However, the woman's mother tried to argue that she has a duty to Abby as the person who was responsible for her being born. I think I'm going crazy and I'm not a parent, even though my family thinks I am. Surrogacy is a complex process, and while it plays a vital role in helping individuals or couples achieve their dream of having a child, it is important to understand that surrogates, which are always women, are not intended to be acti an active parent in that child's life, at least without proper communication beforehand, which didn't happen in this case. I do believe that proper communication happened. I do believe these two males put upon this woman to have a child for them and she agreed to do it and apparently there was no conversation about her also being a free babysitter a free taxi driver a free uh, a additional parent and let's also face that if she wanted to see the child while the two men were still married to each other they probably would have felt uh, put upon because they didn't need her at that time but now the one that's left with the child is all like, hey, yo, birthing person, come over here and help me do this. Because I'm a male and I can't do anything for myself or by myself. Many people in the comments agreed that she was not acting unreasonably by refusing to care for her friend's daughter. That's not your child. You don't owe anyone anything more than you're willing to give, one Reddit user wrote. You already did your part by putting yourself through pregnancy and childbirth and giving someone the absolute gift of a child they otherwise couldn't have. Another user agreed, writing, Surrogacy does not equal parenthood, unless there were some terms about you being an active part in the child's life before the surrogacy was agreed, then the assumption should be that you would not be involved in any capacity. You agreed to be a surrogate, not a mom. People should not be for sale. Children should not be for sale. Women should not be for sale to males who need a womb. To make a baby. Everything about surrogacy is wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And this is where we end up when males take over nature. You agreed to be a surrogate, not a mom. This is wholeheartedly inappropriate for the father to be doing this, a third user pointed out. You didn't agree to be a parent to this child. Now let's look at the comments and see if there's anything interesting there. This is something that should have professional degrees of separation between the surrogate host and the biological parents. The surrogate host. Look at how we're referring to women. That's the thing that sticks out in the comments. To me, surrogate, surrogate, surrogate. Uterus haver. Birthing person. No good deed goes unpunished. We see plenty of articles about surrogates. Whether it's the surrogate trying to keep a child after it's born or someone having further expectations of surrogates. After the child has been born. Mama One says, It sounds like he wants her to have all of the responsibility while he retains all of the rights. Welcome to fatherhood! If he wants her to help out, he needs to start paying her. I don't think she wants to be paid. I think she just doesn't want to be saddled with this male's child. How about the person that left? He should be responsible for the child. Two went into this deal and only one is left holding the bag and I'm not counting the surrogate. No good deed goes unpunished. I feel like this whole surrogate thing is getting out of hand. A child is not something like a custom ordered piece of furniture. There's a reason certain people can't have children. Yeah, there's a reason males can't birth children. It's because they're male. It was never intended to be that way. If it was, it would be pos possible on their own. All right, I'm going to leave a link to this article in the description box so you can have a look-see if you would like to. Um, 
the state of California, I know, was trying to turn infertility into like a class instead of a uh, medical status. And what that would do is it would create, um, you know, it would classify homosexual males and single males as infertile. Because the law is now leaning towards males should have rights to have children without the presence of women uh, outside of, you know, getting her to give birth to the child that they, they so desperately want. And I will forever say there's something wrong with the male who just wants to uh, have a baby all to himself. Sorry. It's just true. Males are not interested in their own children, as we see over and over and over again, except for as a way to control um, the woman that they impregnated. So, you know, there's just, there's something odd there about males who are really super interested in purchasing, uh, renting the womb out of a woman so that they can purchase a baby, because that's exactly what all this is. I'm Jane. Thanks for watching. See you soon.